What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Afan, and today we'll be watching the ninth episode. Is the ninth episode? Yep, ninth episode in book two or chapter nine, I should say, called Bitter Work. Now then, last episode was a pretty good one. We are really getting there, aren't we? The, the, the show seems to be moving forwards really quickly. Ever since we've met Toph, it's been a completely different kind of pace. We, we're, we're developing characters a lot and we are moving the story along a lot as well. And I'm loving it. And this video isn't even sponsored. But yeah, Iroh's injured. Uh, Zuko didn't want to let uh, Katara help him heal him. Katara, I thought, should have maybe been a bit more clear. Should have said, I can heal rather than I can help. It can sound similar, but um, in the moment, you know, when you're a bit, you know, out there, a bit ragey, like Zuko, <laughs> you know, then you really need to have it spelled out for you. Especially with someone like Zuko, let's be honest, he's not the brightest. But yeah, he's there now with Iroh. They reunite the battle against Azula and yeah, it's, it's, it's getting very intense. The family clash, I love it. Brother versus sister, uncle versus niece. It's amazing. Some of the themes this show has, it's incredible, man. It's It, it really is a good show, and I, I'm so... Ah, man, I just want to watch it all, but I can't. I got to record it for you guys. I hate you. <laughs> no, I don't. But you know what I mean. I like want to watch everything right now, but I can't because I... You know, I need to share this with you. And I love it, by the way. The comment section has been amazing. We had a little, you know, mishap along the way, but that's all right. That happens. It's part of the game. It's all right. Azula, though, took on four elements plus boomerang all on her own. That's just amazing. And what makes me even more impressed is the fact that she did that with one at least. I mean, we know Katara's a master as well, but Iroh's a different level master, isn't he? Iroh was against her as well. So with about six people, one of whom is Iroh, and she handled herself really well. It's just amazing, you know? And, and not only that, I mean, she pretty much damaged or injured Iroh. So she didn't just defend herself, she also did some damage to Team Avatar. Although I don't know if Iroh is officially part of Team Avatar, as much as I would like him to be. So it was just a fantastic episode we got to, like I said, a lot of character development. We're learning a lot about the Fire Nation side, which is great. You know, Zuko, I'm talking about Azula, I'm talking about his mom, his dad, the whole Iroh situation. And, and it's just fantastic. I love that side of the story because we've got a lot about Aang already. And there's much more to explore as well, but we didn't get much about Zuko. We got a few episodes in the first book and a couple here as well but now we're getting a lot more and i love that you know when they expand a bit on some of the other characters i mean ang is the main focus of the show obviously but these other characters we love them too and they're great too so i love it when they focus on them for some time as well and that's what they're doing at the moment and i'm loving it like i said this video is not even sponsored. Speaking of sponsors, I have a Patreon now. And also, I just got news that I'm eligible for memberships. I'll start memberships on the channels as well. If you're interested in that, you can join that. Link in the description. Also, hit the join button. I don't know if the button will be up by the time this video is up or not. But yeah, they're coming soon. So yay. But anyways, without any further ado, let's get into this. I'm so excited to see what happens, man. The, the main screen that they're showing is Iroh on the ground. Yeah, there it is. All right, book two, Earth. Bitter work. Saga? <laughs> Still sleeping, huh? Yep. Sorry. I'm not sure if this is the... Good morning. Good morning, Sifu Toph. Sifu Toph. Call me Sifu Katara. <laughs> Bending as quietly as we can. I don't think that's possible. There you go. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> I was gonna say, is this directly after the last episode? Because they didn't get enough sleep, right? So I'm kind of inside of uh, Saka. Key to earthbending is your st Seafood, does that mean um, master? And which language? <laughs> Rock beats air, Bender. Rock beats air. I got you, Dad. <laughs> My beloved Lieutenant. Uncle. You were unconscious. Somehow, that's not so surprising. <sighs> oh, fuck. I thought... Mm, good. <laughs> that was very bracing. <laughs> bracing. So, Uncle, I've been... <laughs> she 
just stopped it. <laughs> I'm going to need to know more advanced firebending if I want to stand a chance against her. I know what you're going to say. Wow, they just sort of went right by that, but that was, oh. Crazy, and she needs to go down. <laughs> She's crazy, and she needs to go down, Iro. To resume your training. Stop thinking like an airbend. Gotta face it head on. In like this. <laughs> <laughs> she headbutted it. Lovely. Thanks, Katara. A gentle nud. <laughs> All right. Grenades high, twinkle toe. <laughs> Gentle nudge. Lovely. <laughs> Feeling the earth. Just like she does. That's what that was, right? There you go, Wang. Alrighty. Okay. <laughs> Just a gentle nudge. Unfortunately for you, your mate. <laughs> uh oh. Gotcha. Nope. How is he gonna get out? You are one lucky little meat creature. <laughs> He's gonna kill a baby. Well, it looked like a baby. Lightning, the cold-blooded fires, precise and deadly, like Azula. Hmm. Home the technique requires peace of mind. That's why we're drinking tea. Oh, yeah, good point. Yeah, I was gonna say, he's just drinking tea because he loves tea. <laughs> okay. I row. Well, I mean, that's all right. He's not gonna get it first time he tries it, you know. Are you sure this is really the best way to teach Aang earthbending? This way, you'll really have to sense the... Yeah. I don't like Katara interfering. I understand where she's coming. <laughs> I understand why she's doing it, and I'll talk more about it, but she doesn't need to interfere. Mm -mm. Evade. That's airbender for you. You had a perfect stance and perfect form. You didn't have the guts. Like a jelly boned whip. <laughs> Take a break and try earth bending again when Yeah, whatever, go splash around. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Until you have dealt with a turmoil inside you. What turmoil? That right there. Of shame if you want your anger to go away. But I don't feel any shame at all. Yes, you do. Oh no. It is not the opposite of shame, but its source. True humility is the only antidote to shame. <laughs> That's a very good line. Big things eat smaller things, but this time it didn't work out. Nope, it did not. If I get out of this alive, it's a karmically correct vegetarian existence for me. <laughs> <laughs> is so tasty. Oh, it is so tasty, man, I agree. Apple! <laughs> now come back, Boomerang. <laughs> well... Boomerang Zoo come back, but not like that! I need to face it head on like a rock. Like the rock. Do you smell? <laughs> if fire and water are opposites, then what's the opposite of air? Earth. You're working with there it is. Sifu Katara. <laughs> Glitter in the eyes. ...and strong. They are persistent and enduring. Yeah. Air is the element of freedom. Apparently had pretty good senses of... <laughs> yeah. They did indeed. Not the Fire Nation, though. Hmm. Understanding others. Nations. Yeah. Will help you become whole. Talk is sounding like Avatar. I was gonna say four elements in one person that may yeah one I learned by studying the waterbender benderers all right yeah again they're doing the side by side stuff cool Zuko and you wouldn't mind you're too much of a pushover to do anything about it <laughs> I thought she was gonna use another p word there I'm happy to share anything I have great new nutcracker <laughs> Actually, I'd prefer if you didn't. That's an antique, handcrafted by the monks. Why don't you do something about it, bro? 
That's the whole point, I think. Oh, I think. The only delicate <laughs> tough, tough love. It's almost sundown and Sokka isn't back. We'll find him faster if we split up. Yeah. He's stuck in the ground. Just get out of this situation alive. I will give up meat and sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much my whole identity. <laughs> meat and sarcasm guy. Boomer. The boomerang's right there. It can hear you. It's right there. The boomerang's like, am I a joke to you? Bet I can airbend you out of here. You're gonna have to earthbend. Ah, there we go. So that's how he's gonna learn. Cool. Now he's gonna have to... Ooh, nice... Nice hairs. Oh, well. Get out of here. Go get Toph. I can't do that either. Yeah. It would just be really... Uncomfortable. I didn't want you to feel uncomfortable. <laughs> awkward position. I think I know the feeling. <laughs> a really awkward position, eh? Caught between a rock and a hard place. <laughs> Dang, this is my friend, Fufu -fu Cuddly Poops. Fufu -fu. <laughs> Fu -fu -fu Cuddly Poops. For a little baby saber tooth moose lion. Did you lose your mama? Hmm. There's the mama. Okay. Uh oh. The mama probably thinks he's, uh, stealing her baby. A waterbender lets their defense become their offense. Stomach is the source of energy. It's called the sea of chi. It is more like a... <laughs> <laughs> Piss off, Zuko. That was funny. Anything he says is funny. Come on, even if it's not funny, it's funny. <laughs> Through your heart, where the damage could be deadly. Man, it's a... Real shame that Iroh was born at a time when the airbender had to be... I mean, the, when the Avatar had to be an airbender. Because he would have made a really good uh, air, uh, Avatar. I almost said he would have made a really good Iroh. <laughs> Come on. You've got to feel the flow. <laughs> uh, he's not even the Avatar. Which means he can't bend other elements, and but he's using those elements to... Crazy? Lightning is very dangerous. Yeah, but I'm not going to shoot lightning at you. <laughs> You're lucky you will never have to use this technique. If he's lucky, but we know he's not very lucky, and he's... Up by my own lightning. And he said he doesn't need luck, right? So... Alright, they split up again. Come on! But yeah, like Iroh, he's learning from other elements. He doesn't really have to. We have no problem with you. Yeah, but I think he or it, she, whatever, has a problem with you. Well done, but you gotta earthbend. Get Sokka out of there. Meet sarcasm and boomerang guy. There you go. That was brilliant. Oh, look at me! <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna be distracted that easily. It's a predator. He's got his eyes on the prize at all times. Don't move. Go and bend that thing. He used air, but he did not move. You were there the whole time? Pretty much. And she didn't. Why did you do something? Because <laughs> she wanted you to. He wanted Guess you to learn. it just didn't occur to me. <laughs> Earth bend, Twinkle Toes. <laughs> Twinkle toes. Ground against a crazy beast. A crazy beast. Did you ground against me? Oh, okay. I thought she was referring to herself as a crazy beast. <clears throat> Ta da! Now, can you get him out? <laughs> Could you get me out of here? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Should probably let me do that. There you go. <laughs> Easy does it. You can do. You can move a rock. You tried the positive reinforcement, didn't you? No, she didn't. Physically and mentally unmovable. Whoa! <laughs> Very movable. You've always thrown everything you could at me. Well, I can take it, and now I can give it back. Oh, lightning, eh? Come on, strike me! You've never held back before. What is he looking at? Oh no, there it is. Okay, all right now. We're all good. It's all right. It's all right. We're, we're good. We're good. Oh, I steer bending a thing. 
Oh, lovely. Okay, another great episode done and dusted. Again, a lot of development. I'm loving this so far. We're on a roll. Episode after episode, we are getting to know more and more about both sides. And well, it's funny I say that because it feels like it's two sides, but of the same coin. Do you know what I mean? That expression, it applies here perfectly. I mean, you've got Zuko and Aang, and we have been seeing this in the first book as well, and I talked about it as well. Those side-by-side -side scenes in particular, I mean, they really sort of make it stand out. But even when there aren't those side-by-side -side scenes, I mean, you can still see the similarities, right? Even he himself at one point said, well, what you're teaching me sounds a bit like something you should be teaching the Avatar instead of me. And, uh, oh man, it's just amazing. That's a really good episode as well. All right, cool, cool, cool. Aang can now move rocks, which is just brilliant. And, uh, yeah, Zuko has to let go. That line that Iroh told him hmm, about pride and shame and uh, yeah, it was good. <laughs> it was really good. Had a lot of funny moments. Iroh tossing the tea out the window. It was really funny. <laughs> Uh, especially since we know how much that guy loves tea and of all the people in this world, I think I would be the last one to, you know, throw away tea. Just goes to show how bad that must have been. And, um, you know, Iroh is this guy who's always caring and talks about family and the importance of family and... Then Zuko said she's my sister, right? And this and that and Iroh's reply is just like, no. She's crazy and we need to take her down. And it's not a joke. He normally when he says something like that, it's a joke, he laughs or something. No, he says it with a straight face. Just goes to show that the show has really taken a turn. It's no longer, uh, it's, we're getting there. We're getting there and it's, I'm excited. I'm very excited. Zuko is, he once again turned his back on Iroh, and I think that's a big mistake. I thought it was when he did it the first time around as well, but he doesn't learn, does he? And uh, me, I, I think he finally learned, though. I think he finally did learn there at the end when he started crying. I think he finally realized what Iroh was saying, and I think he's letting go a bit. He's letting go of that pride that Iroh talked about. And when he was standing there and he was yelling at the sky, uh, I felt so bad for him. I felt so bad for him. It just goes to show how much of a how much of a jackass the Fire Lord has been to him, you know? Reminds me of that uh, one episode where he says, I don't need luck I can make my own luck or something along those lines. It's just, oh man, it's just amazing. It's, yeah. That ending scene was very emotional. Yeah, uh, fuck. Um, Katara trying to help Aang. That was really good. But her interfering with Toph, I didn't really appreciate that all that much. I mean, I appreciated it. I just didn't. I don't think that's how earthbending works. Obviously, I don't know as much. And if I'm wrong, please correct me. But the way they were, uh, Toph described and also uh, Iroh, he gave a bit of a summary of what the Earth Nation is or Earth Kingdom is. And the way they described it, it, does, it didn't seem like the kind of... Uh, personality that you need to have like the kind of personality that katara has that an earthbender would have and again the kind of personality that ang had that an earthbender would have and that's why he had so much of a problem later on katara explicitly mentions it you know water is the opposite of fire what, what's the opposite of air it's earth right so that's why it's so difficult for you is because well all your life you've been an air nomad and now you all of a sudden have to be the thing that you aren't you, the thing that you're the opposite of. And I thought in order to achieve that, you have to, you know, you can't think the way you do normally, which Katara was trying to do. She was like, well, normally it's da 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 da. No, no, that, that's water bending or air bending or whatever. Fine, it works for that. I, I don't think it's going to work for this. So I appreciate you trying to help, but you're not really helping. So that's why I was like, let Toph do her thing. And then later on, you can then talk to Aang in your own way because, well, you have your own thing going on with Aang, right? The whole water bending and all that. And she does. And guess what? It works, you know? So in that moment, you sort of connect it back with what Iroh said, which is you have to learn about all four elements and you have to take, well, elements of each element and sort of 
how do I put it, sort of um, integrated into the other element. You have to take an aspect of an an aspect of an element and integrate it into another element in your own sort of way, and then and only then you'll be able to gain full control of it. So yes, you have to be tough like a rock, but you can be tough like a rock in your own way. And I think that's what the point of that was there at the end, because he's not like Toph and he'll never be like Toph. That's just not who Aang is. And I feel like that's who he has to be for pretty much the rest of the show is himself with elements. Again, I say elements with aspects of elements integrated into his own personality he has to become like a hybrid he can't be one thing or another he has to be all of it and they achieved that at the end so yeah it's pretty good that's just what my understanding is like i said if i'm saying anything that is incorrect do correct me again keep the spoilers to a minimum and if anyone wants to be a moderator for this series um just let me know in the comments down below I added a couple of people already, I think, or maybe I didn't. I think I did. Well, I'd do it right after this video. So uh, if I haven't, then I would have by the time the video goes up. But yeah, if you want to, just let me know. I'll add you. Basically, what your job will be is just go through the comments. If there's any spoilers, just delete them. There are not that, that many comments, so it's not that much work. But still, it is extra work. So I understand if you don't want to do that. But if you do, let me know and I'll make it happen. Thank you, by the way, to the people who already offered their help. I appreciate you and your help. And I'm loving this show. And you guys are making it all that much better for me to enjoy. If you enjoyed the video, do drop a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm doing many different things. All those banners and stuff that you see back there. I'm pretty much doing everything from there and all and more. I'm doing Lord of the Rings as well. Nothing up there is from Lord of the Rings. I'll be doing much more in the future as well. Plan on watching after I finish this Legend of Korra as well. And some other stuff. And also, if there's something that you'd like me to see, let me know in the comments down below and I'll take a look at it. But yeah, thank you for watching. Check out my Patreon and memberships and all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice...